Okay, so another type of uh, symmetry. So the definition here, a relation is symmetric with respect to WRT, the y-axis, if replacing every x with minus x gives an equivalent relation. In other words, gives you the same graph. So I use the same one I had before, x squared minus x squared y squared plus y squared equals 4. And I replace all the x's with minus x. Now, of course, if it's squared, you need the minus x in parentheses, right? So you put the minus x in parentheses on each one. And then, of course, you're squaring out all those negatives, uh, the negative x's. So you just get x squared for each of those. So you get x squared minus x squared y squared plus y squared equals 4, the exact same thing as we started with. So this relation is symmetric with respect to the y-axis or symmetric in the y-axis, if you want. Okay, so if I reflect it across the y-axis, if I take the graph and reflect it across the y-axis, it's the same. From the previous video, we saw that if I, we had the same formula if I reflect the graph in the x-axis, I get the same as well. So it has a lot of symmetry here. So if a relation is symmetric with respect to the y-axis and is a function, we say the function is even. Okay, so if you have a function symmetric with respect to the y-axis, means it's even. So think of the function y equals x squared. Two, the power on the x is a two is even. That's kind of where this, this uh, term even comes from, okay? So think of that example, a parabola with the center at the origin opening up, right? y equals x squared is even. If you, if you reflect across the y-axis, you get the same graph. So in this case, that is when a function is even, then f of negative x always equals f of x. So that's a test. If you want to test if something is even, just put in negative, f of, negative x for x and you get f of x, which is kind of what we were talking about before. So for example, uh, f of x equals x squared is symmetric with respect to the y-axis and is even because f of negative x equals negative x to the quantity squared equals x squared equals f of x. So f of negative x equals f of x.